Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. When tragedy strikes, what can you do to save your data? Whether you've accidentally deleted the wrong file, had viruses on the PC, the operating system crashed, you reformatted the drive, hard drive failure, and so forth, Stellar's data recovery just may save your day. You can recover data with ease and efficiency. It can detect over 100 different types of files, including those for QuickBooks, Quicken, Microsoft, Office, Lotus, Adobe, TurboTax, and more. You can also recover photos like JPEGs, GIFs, and PNGs, audio files like MP3s and WMAs, videos like MP4s, M2TS, and many more. Stella's data recovery can recover data from internal and external hard drives, solid state drives, USB flash drives, flash memory cards and sticks, CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs. It also supports the FAT16, 32s, the NTFS, and extended FAT filing systems. If the drive was encrypted using Windows BitLocker, you can easily recover the data from the encrypted drive. You must know the password to unlock it. If the hard drive or removable media is failing, you can create an image of the disk and recover the data from the image at any time. During the scan of the drive, you do not have to wait for the scan to complete to view the data. With Stellar's data recovery, you can preview the files as they are found. However, it does slow the scanning process a little bit, but it can be handy. Stellar's data recovery also has drive monitoring to monitor the drive's health, such as the drive's temperature and performance ratings, even its health rating. It can even query the drive's smart hardware to determine the current state of the drive. You can scan the disk service to locate bad sectors, and if multiple bad sectors have been detected, there is also an option to clone the drive. You can even create a recovery boot drive. So in the event your PC crashes, the recovery drive can boot your PC to allow recovery of your data. Stellar's data recovery requires a minimum of one gigahertz AMD or Intel processor. It works on both Windows and Macs. It also needs to have two gigabytes of RAM However, 4 gigabytes is recommended, and you need to have 250 megabytes of free space on the drive. Plus, you're going to also need some additional storage media to store the recovered data. Stellar Data Recovery is available to try for free to scan and view your recoverable data. The licensed version is available as an annual subscription or as a lifetime license and provides unlimited data recovery. The premium version can repair corrupted photos and videos, while the technician version includes support for data recovery on RAID systems. During my testing of Stellar Data Recovery, for the most part, the program worked as expected, but I did have a few problems. For instance, according to Stellar support, you are only allowed to use the activation key three times. One key is used to activate the program itself, which is expected However, when you create a recovery drive, you must use the activation key a second time, leaving you with one key left. A common problem I faced was the key could not be found, although it was used to activate the program. After multiple attempts, I was able to finally create the recovery drive. But when I tried to boot the PC using the recovery drive, I get the error, the OS could not be loaded. I've created a recovery drive on a different USB media and got the same result. When I contacted Stellar to see why I am unable to use the recovery drive, they did not understand the cause of the issue. So we did a remote session so they can see the steps I followed for their instructions and the key is no longer valid. They offered to increase my key activation limit, but that didn't solve the problem. They offered a second level technician to resolve the problem, but that always leads to charges, which 
I should not have to pay Stellar to fix their own software. Now, there is nothing wrong with my PC. It's had no problems creating recovery drives or booting from those recovery drives, and so the problem still is still unresolved. Another issue was recovering data from optical discs, CDs, DVDs, and so forth. It's not a major issue since optical discs are being pushed to the side due to their slow data transfers and low capacity to store data. Most data that you can get nowadays can be downloaded from the internet. There are not many data recovery applications that offer data recovery from optical disks. During my testing, I tried different scenarios to see if the program would detect recoverable data. You cannot recover data from copy protected DVDs or Blu-ray disks since the program cannot decode the encryption. You can, however, recover data from optical disks such as recordables and rewritable disks. When working with rewritable disks, I noticed that Stellar Data Recovery does not perform deep scans on optical disks, especially on rewritable disks. Or can you create an image of an optical disk, which would be a, neat, a cool feature. A deep scan reads raw data sector by sector, to locate lost data that is not visible to the system. With rewritable disks, you can add or remove files as if it was a USB drive. But the program only recognizes the current data. If you were to delete a file from the disk, Stellar's data recovery doesn't detect the deleted files. Other data recovery programs that I've tested have been able to recognize data that has been either deleted or lost. If you turn off the preview and advanced settings on the home screen, when you scan the drive, the preview is automatically turned back on. Why? If I turned it off, it should stay off. You must turn it off every time you scan a drive. It also has an option to save your scan so that you can automatically resume your data recovery at a later time. The program has a feature I have not seen in other data recovery applications. Stellar Data Recovery allows you to add file types apart from those it already detects. You basically add a minimum of 10 samples of the file type you want to add to the list, select the group the file type belongs to, enter the file's average size, and the program will analyze the signatures of the file type, then add the information to the list so that the, the software can now detect that file type. Although Stellar Data Recovery has smart monitoring, it is not reliable because there is no standardization for the technology. Every manufacturer uses smart data differently, but it can provide clues of a pending failure. For more information about SMART, please be sure to check, click on the link above or in the video description below. ScanDisk is a feature that checks data blocks for read and write errors. However, the results may not be accurate. The drive's hardware can remap sectors that were deemed bad, known as bad sector reallocation, a process where data in a bad sector is moved to a good sector and the new location is updated in the filing system. The process is invisible to the operating system. If a remap had occurred, it will only appear in the smart data under reallocation sector count. Cloning disk is a handy tool. So if multiple bad sectors were found or you received a smart alert during startup, the disk can be cloned to another disk for, before the drive fails. You can also use this if you just need to uh, upgrade your hard drive to a larger capacity or perhaps you're upgrading to a solid state drive. The clone disk is a very handy tool to use. The cloning process worked great as expected. The only problem I had with it was that if you see the screen, it can be a little confusing if you have multiple drives because it only shows a disk number and not the partitions that the disk covers to give you an idea as to exactly which disk you're trying to select. Despite the problems that I've had, Stellar Data Recovery does work well to recover data and it could use some improvements.
I have created tutorials to show users how to use Stellar Data Recovery. The links are at the end of this video and in the video description below. If you have any questions or problems, please contact Stellar Support for assistance. Well, I am Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.